to Around the Pit. I'm Joe and today we're gonna to do some campfire pizza. So as soon as I get this fire going, we'll get some bacon cooked up and we'll go from there. Campfire pizza. All right, we got a nice cooking fire going. Got some applewood bacon going here. We'll make a breakfast pizza with a hash brown crust. I made this about three weeks ago with my brother. Now I'm gonna do it with my wife. All right, so we'll get this bacon cooked up, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming along good. We got about four more pieces of bacon we'll cook up, and then we'll chop it up. And we'll get these hash browns cut, and start making our pizza. Okay, we took it off while I cut up the bacon and the hash browns. Got most of the grease out. Okay. okay, took the hash browns like this, cut them diagonal, and we're going to just make a pizza crust in here. I'm just gonna make a, take them like a pie, put them around. I think I got six hash browns for this 10 inch skillet here. And they gotta be pretty. Just gotta eat. Okay, so now we'll take a, got about six chopped up bacons. We'll spread that around. Kept them a little bit big. Okay. Okay. And I reduced my fire so the fire's not so hot. Okay, to lock it in. Got six eggs here with uh, chopped up onions, well, minced, minced onions, seasoned salt, lorry salt, whatever you want to call it, um, salt, pepper. And I don't know if I said garlic, but garlic too. So we'll get that in there. Try to get it coated. Because that's going to solidify the crust part. And you can move it around some, yeah. And then some shredded cheese on top. Lock it all in. Okay, that's what that's what it looks like. Doesn't take too long. If you ain't got one of these that blow oxygen on there to help regulate your fire control, and you cook like this, I didn't like five bucks maybe six bucks but get you one of these all right so we're gonna let this cook for a little bit remember i reduced the heat if you saw when i was cooking that bacon up it's pretty good and you're gonna have to rotate it because there's gonna be uh heat more on one side than the other so just keep an eye on it rotate it and don't let it burn which low cooking fire like this fire like this it shouldn't burn okay all right, we'll come back in a few minutes. All right, bottom's getting done real good, but look at that. Still got some egg mixture up here, so we're gonna do this. Hopefully you got some camp left. Tongs, 
50 goals all the time. For a few minutes, just to get the rest of that egg and hopefully it does something good to that cheese. I've never done it this way before, but I think it's going to work better. I could have just put my Dutch oven lid on, gimp oven, whatever the heck you want to call this, because people don't like me calling it a Dutch oven. But I think it's going to happen is our cheese is going to stick to that. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, it's literally been like, I don't know, a few minutes. And, yep, what I suspected to happen, happened. It's okay, we'll pull it off a little bit. Make sure we don't get none of these coals in our pizza, but not too bad. Cause now we take our bacon and the cheese and put it back on here. So maybe next time I'll use two picks, but it definitely cook those eggs on top. I'll bring you in here, and we're going to sl slice this up. I know my wife is getting hungry. So it ain't too bad. I'd rather have my eggs cooked than, than not. Let's see if I can get you a picture of this. I don't know how well you can see that crust. But, oh my gosh, it's going to come out like a pizza. Yeah, put that there. Get my gloves, safety first. I don't know about you, but if it can come out like that, that's pretty good. And look at that crust. Oh yeah, it's got a great crust to the bottom there. Ah, well let's do this. Cut piece off. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Could have put more cheese on there, but we'll know better next time. But look at that crust. Perfect. Breakfast pizza. The main thing is the taste. It's gonna be super hot. Mm. Another keeper, man. Mm. That's great. All right, you saw me do this on the grill. Now I did over a fire. Awesome campfire pizza and it doesn't take too long. Manage your fire, get yourself one of these. That way you can concentrate on the area that's not getting too much heat or rotate your pan. Don't have it a super heavy, high heat. You want a good low cooking heat. All right, until next time, I'm Joe with Around the Pit. We'll see you later.